everybody welcome back to my channel this is Esther Heba soap skincare and lifestyle in this channel we learn how to make soap how to make cream how to pro mix and how to learn a lot of household items that will be useful to us both as individuals and to our fam families and our community at large if you know you're interested in this kind of videos I will implore you to please subscribe to my channel I want to use this opportunity to thank my teaming viewers those that have been viewing my videos, watching my videos, I'm very, very grateful. You don't know how glad I am. I just don't, cannot open my heart to show you. I'm very, very happy. And especially those of you that not only watched, but you subscribed. Subscribing will not take anything out of you, but you did it anyway for me. I'm very, very happy. May the Lord Almighty bless you and give you whatever it is that your heart desire. For those of you that are coming to my channel for, channel for the first time, you're welcome. Please do ensure... To watch our videos to the end and please do subscribe to our videos why i ask you to subscribe is because whenever you if you subscribe whenever we post any video you'll be notified whenever we post and also when you watch our videos to the end you benefit more because at times in the course of the video there are some things that i might forget and in the course of the video i remember and i add there are some hints and tidbits that i might add or that some challenges we might encounter in the course of making the video and will now solve these problems or will not talk about them in the video which if you do not watch the end you might not see so i'll please employ you to watch our videos to the end and please subscribe please subscribe to my channel thank you so very much and it is my prayer that the lord almighty will grant each and every one of us our heart's desires those of us that are looking for jobs those that are those of us that are looking for life partners those of us that are looking for admissions those of us that are looking for the fruit of the womb whatever it is that you desire and even me too that i'm looking for more subscribers it is my prayer oh lord that you give me more subscribers and that my subscribers will also watch my viewers will also watch my videos to the very end so let's go into the video proper i'll be making a brown transparent laundry bar soap okay i've already i just finished making one video now on how to make a true liquid soap the type that you cook the type that is made from a soap based soap base not the surfactant one not the one that is commonly made a true liquid soap okay so i just finished making a, a, a video on it so please try and watch the video whenever i post it so now this is my palm kernel oil that is what i'm using for my video today and my palm kernel oil is one and a half liter as you can see and it is at room temperature it has melted but it is not hot in if the temperature should come lower than this it will definitely become semi-solid okay then because i'll be using heat transfer i'll be using semi-hot process method to make my soap i will be making use of hot or warm lye i will not want my lye to be very hot okay unlike in the first method where i used hot lye here i'll be using the lie in this method will be less hot okay so before i start i'm going to wear my hand gloves i've already pre-measured all my necessary all the necessary ingredients i'll be using for this soap so let's take the temperature of our oils before we start the room temperature is 33.3 degrees centigrade let's take the temperature of our oil to be sure that it is cool okay especially if you're making a large batch just touching with your palm alone the way i do at times not soft might not be the best so you need to have more sophisticated equipment that you will measure the temperature of whatever you're making so this is 34.3 so it's not far from the room temperature okay so the temperature is okay so now now that we are done with that in this method since you are using semi-hot process method you will not want to make your lye water and keep it overnight you want to make it as fresh as possible okay so my lye here that i'm using is 250 grams of caustic soda i have 250 grams of caustic soda here i'll be adding in one liter of water okay right now in this room you can see the video is a little bit dry it's bright that's because all the doors all the windows are open so as you're mixing your caustic soda make sure you do it in a well aerated place and as you can see i'm well kitted up okay i'm wearing my hand gloves 
I'm putting on right now. I have my face marks on. When I finish sharing, I will remove it. Okay. So I will stir my lye water now and wait for it to dissolve. As you're stirring, it will become a bit cloudy and it will be bringing out fumes. Try as much as possible to avoid those fumes. Okay, and then you stir your lye water. When it becomes clear, you know that it is ready for use. Okay, so I'll come back when my lye water has dissolved. I, and lye water has dissolved, and I believe the temperature has come down a bit. It's been quite some time that I dissolved it, so I'm back now to make my soap. But before I do it, I'll take my the temperature of my lye to be sure it's not too hot i don't want my light to be too hot i just want it warm and enough unlike in the first method that i used hot light so i'll check the temperature of my light now my light is 53.5 degrees centigrade that is fair enough so i'm going to start making my soap now okay my oils are in liquid form I'll start by putting in my foam booster. I'll mix it up with the oils. So after that, I'll be putting in my color. This is optional, you must not put color. But I want my laundry soap to be brown. After that, I'll now put in my lye water, okay, a little at a time. you can see this well let me bring the camera a little bit you can see it right the way it's looking that's it traced and it's a beautiful trace Seems my brown color is a bit much. So if you don't want yours as intense as my own, you can put it a little bit less. So I'll be putting in my alcohol. I will also be putting it a little at a time. For my alcohol, I put in 50 ml of my alcohol. So I'll cover it and leave it for some time and then come back. So as usual, when I stir, I cover it up a little bit to heat up itself. And then I open and stir again, okay? My soap have gelled, as you can see. I'm seeing some sign of separation. I don't know that I can see it. So I'll stir it very well so that everything will get mixed up. Okay? If you're using a stick blender, you might not see all this. I'm going to quickly pour in my sugar solution now. Stir it up. Also my perfume, also tear it up. So guys, good morning and welcome back. 
this is after two days okay usually i unmold my soap after 24 hours okay but in this instance the soap was a bit soft for me after 24 hours so i left it for another extra 24 hours and if you look i don't want to press too much it's still a bit soft you know that this laundry soap that we made is we use transparent uh, method heat transfer to get a transparent soap okay so this kind of soap now you find out that the soap granules have dissolved so they are a little bit they have melted into each other so the soap is soft it doesn't harden on time but it will eventually harden so i didn't leave this soap for 24 hours i left it for 48 hours before cutting so this is this is it after 24 hours what i did was i unmolded it remove the wrapping this was what i used to wrap it now is it not so all these wrappings i removed them okay then allowed the soap to stay for another 24 hours with air on it so it has become a little bit much more solid so now i'm going to cut it cutting machine this is a piece of brown soap that i made if you look at it i don't know that you can see it looks transparent kind of you see okay so this is a quality but because it is thick you might not see that transparency okay so now we carry our soap and put on the mold i only made a small batch so for the cut i'll be using this commercial soap as a guide and this commercial soap is four inches my cutter already has four inches graduated on it so i'll just move it to four inches you can see the brown color of the soap is close to that of the commercial soap okay You can cut both ways, both forward and backward, okay, with this cutter. It's very, very simple and easy to use, honestly.